how to create a line design or background design like this in Affinity Photo using the pen tool. So I'm just going to delete all the layers now. So all the layers have been deleted. Go to the pen tool, you can find that in the tools panel. There's the pen tool. Make certain you've got fill, doesn't matter. It could be nil, red, green, it's not going to be used. Stroke, going with black. Click here. So click here and go to the third. And what you want is a dash line style. You can modify the width. I'm going to go with 6.5, 7. You can change it. Go down here for the dash. You can change those. I'm going to change them later. So let's just apply it. Mode. Make certain you use this one. Line mode. Just makes it so much easier to use. So line mode and click there and hold down the shift and click down the bottom. And you can see straight away you've got your line. Not particularly what I want, so I'm just going to click here again and I can modify it, turn around and say, oh, let's put gaps. So you've got a bit of a gap there. That's what I want. I want a bit of a gap between those dashes. And you can modify it, put 1.5. Don't have to put 1, 2, 3, 1.5, 1.2. And again, you can vary this if you want. And you can see you've got your line. Now, you can create a selection from just this, but however, as soon as you create multiple entries, you can't, not so easily anyway. So what you now need to do is hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate it. So hold that down, and that's on the keyboard. And you can see, and you can create a variety of different patterns. You can go up and down, move it away, up to you. Maybe crunch it together, doesn't matter, whatever you want. But I'm just gonna go for this sort of design. And this is for the initial group there. I'm just going down. <clears throat> so got that. What I can now do is select all of them. And I'm going to repeat that again, all those selected, and I'm going to hold down the Alter Option key. And drag. And you can duplicate that design. And you can repeat that over and over again, just maybe move it up, move it down, and create a variety of different designs. I'm going to go with those. So with that, I now can select them all again. You can also select them in the Layers panel if you want. Sometimes it's probably best because you might suddenly miss one by accident. Quite easily done. Hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate that. And you can repeat that. I'm just going to go over and fill the entire there. You can, of course, select the entire lot. Hopefully all are selected. Yes, they're all selected. Be nice if there was a little indicator saying there's one or two not selected. Because sometimes I miss one and I'm just going to go down there and you can just drag that and also you can resize it that way so you can just squeeze it or that way and do that there okay so you've got your design now fill in the entire document and what you can now do is you can merge them all together you can't use rasterize so if you go to layer and rasterize it will not work it will just rasterize just one the weird thing it doesn't rasterize the whole lot you need to go to merge visible so merge visible and now, the original curves are still there. There's a reason for that. I don't want to delete them because you can come back and change things. So with this design now all merged into one pixel layer, I can go up to Select and Selection from Layer and Delete. Or oh, Selection from Layer, perfectly reasonable as well. So that one. Now, once you've done that, you can go over here to the gradient tool and you can fill it. Now you could fill it with solid colors, perfectly reasonable, anything. Go for elliptical, apply it like that, change the color here. Please check out my videos on gradients, how to change color stops, etc. You could maybe add some additional color there. Tweak that. So you can create a variety of different designs using this approach. Then what you can do is you can apply layer effects and styles. Just go here to the layers. With all this selection, this layer selected, just go down to effects and click there and then go for 3D. And you can see the result. Get this lovely three-dimensional depth, all applied to all of these. You can also go to Bevel and Boss, and you can tweak this as well. And of course, you can create millions of different types. Change the direction, and that creates an interesting. Profiles, just change that. Tweak the profiles, and close. You can also, of course, at this point, select and deselect. Don't need the selection anymore. Select that layer, and you can see the end result there. However, you've also got styles. So if you don't want to use the old layer effects there, you can always just use styles. There's not a vast selection of them. I mean, there's not many. 
but you can select that one, select that one. And you can see the result of that just by changing that. And of course, once you've applied it, you can still go and tweak it. So you've got aluminium, 80s disco, pretty garish, gold, but again, just go down here to effects, click there, and you can see all the settings and you can just tweak it. To change it, 3D, you can change this, change the radius, some settings may change, may make a difference. Outline, that seems to be quite a dominant one. Inner glow, you can change that as well. And click close. So you can create a variety of designs. And of course, it's a pixel layer. You can still go to filters, distort, deform. All these effects can now be applied to your design and tweak it even more. But the best thing about this is that you've still got these curves. So you can actually remove this one. So just go here and delete. And you've still got these designs. All these designs, all these lines are still there. So with the move tool, go over here, select the move tool and select all of the lines. I probably missed a few, I always do. However, once you've selected them all, then go down to the, down here, pen tool, select that. And you can see now you've got all these, I say, selections not available here. It's a pity, I don't know why they didn't make that available. However, they didn't. And you can change the stroke. Maybe go for blue or green, just change the color. You could, of course, change individual ones. If you group, select different, different ones, you could get different colors for each, up to you. Also, you can go here and click there and you can change the width. So you can make very small, maybe make it bigger. Change these settings, maybe make it square instead of round. You can just vary it. Just see what you think, oh, you know, what works, what doesn't work of these. Just try the settings. You might find something you like from that. Also, what you can do is go to 1.9. Just change that. Maybe make that five. If you want bigger gap, maybe make it smaller. I don't know. It's literally infinite amount of things. And also, you've got this as well. You can go for, a, unfortunately, there's only two, two pairs. I'm not saying why I didn't go for three or four. Would have been nice. However, three, maybe go for one, and you can create a variety of other designs. And also you've got this phase, which is quite nice. So you can actually just go up and down. You see, as you go up and down there, it will all just shift up and down. You can see it going down there, minus one, minus five, minus six, minus 11. So you can just make sort of movement, can make some nice animations from this. So once you've got that, you do exactly the same as before. Make certain that all selected, go to layer, and make certain that merge visible is used. Not rasterize, merge visible. So merge visible, so they're all merged into a single pixel layer. Then you can go to select, and again, selection from layer and delete. And you've got that selection now. And of course, exactly the same as before, you can go and apply effects, just go down to effects, click there, 3D, Change the radius there. Settings. Now, at this point, you'll notice that I've done something wrong. I haven't filled it with anything. It does need to have something filled. Now, it will work. Key thing to remember always is that a layer needs a fill. So, 3D, and you can then tweak it there. And you can move it backwards and forwards. Bevel and boss. And again, you can create a variety of different designs using this approach as well. And again, exactly the same as before, you can still use the styles. So if you want, just click there and apply it that way. And select and deselect, don't need the selection anymore. And also just go over here to the move tool and you can see design. And again, you can still continue to modify it using these. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.